Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back if you are new here, thank you so much for finding your way to my channel and I really hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned. Today's video is about a few luxury items that I use every day. I don't want to fool anyone here. I don't have many luxury items. My luxury items are very curated and the items I have, I really try to get the most out of them. So that's why I use luxury items on a daily basis as well. Three hours later, my battery died, a new hairdo, but we are rolling with it. So um, where did I stop? Ah, yes. Today, I would like to talk about luxury items that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know, that sounds like a tag, right? But I couldn't find anything like that online. I did a quick research, but I couldn't find anything like that. I found five best luxury items, uh, 10 luxury items you should have and things like that. But I couldn't find anything like luxury items I use every day. So. If there is nothing like that, I am starting this tag and I will tag a few people. I really would love to see other people doing this. You know, this would be really helpful for people who are thinking of getting one of these items. It would really be very insightful, I think, and helpful. So I really hope this video helps you to invest your money wisely or to spend your money wisely. So my first luxury item, it may not be a surprise to you if you are following me on Instagram or you have watched my videos. I love my Celine glasses and I have them now for almost seven years. I use them every day, no matter if it's sunny or not, because I protect my eyes from a wind as well. I wear contacts and they get, my eyes get really sensitive in wind. And um, yes, I love them. I really do. They go with everything. Their glasses are tinted, you know, ambre style, and they are in a burgundy red color. They go, even though they are not black, they go with everything. And I think they suit my face very well. They are very dirty because I'm sure this there are a few little handprints on them, so they are very dirty, they need a clean. But they also, and what I also love about Celine sunglasses in particular, they come in pouches like they used to come, I don't know if they still do them, but in pouches like this, they are really, really practical and handy because they take not much space, you know, in your bag, and they are a great protection as well. They saved me so much money because I'm not tempted buying other sunglasses, you know. The only time I was tempted was back in, I don't know, four or five years ago, you know, when Dior sunglasses were so in. So they got me. They got me bad, I tell you. And I did a few videos actually on a few sunglasses by Dior. I will put them up here. You can go and check them out. I tried a few sunglasses by Dior and um, I returned them a few times and then I ended up, long story short, I ended up with these glasses. They are beautiful. They, are, uh, they were limited editions and they came out with the movie Big Splash. And um, as I said, they are nice, but they are quiet out there, right? They are very, very... Uh, they are a statement piece, right? <laughs> and I don't know, nowadays I'm not about the statement pieces. I like understated stuff, you know. I prefer, you know, low-key uh, items much more than uh, an item like that. Even though I love that, I just don't gravitate to it that much. So next item that I use every day is this number here. I bought that, I, I don't know how many years ago, I think four years ago or so, four, yeah, four or five years ago. 
and I use this um, little pouch every day. I love this pouch. This is such a good thing to have, you know. It doesn't have to be by Louis Vuitton, but this particular one is a luxury item, I would say, and I really love it. It is uh, small, it fits into my bags, and sometimes I put some uh, money in there just to have on hand. It does show where on the zipper, you know, the gold comes off a little bit, but not too bad. I will uh, show you a close-up, of course, and um, it shows a little bit of wear, but nothing major. And you know, these kind of things, you just have to roll with it. It doesn't stay in a pristine state. It will wear off, especially when you have your keys, uh, you know, here the gold will uh, wear, wear off eventually. And, you know, also here where the zipper is, you, you know, you touch that every day. And so it will show somewhere. But on the canvas, you can't see any wear and tear. It looks really good. It looks good as new. I love it. The next item I would like to show you is my wallet. My lovely Chanel wallet. I love this wallet so, so much. I have had this wallet now for four years. And also this one doesn't show any uh, you know, every time actually I come and show you something and just I'm about to say that it doesn't show any wear and tear, I take a really close look for myself and I see that things do show wear and tear. And maybe I shouldn't show you anything because every time I show you something, then I realize, oops. Actually, it sh it shows wear and tear on the you know on the gold, you know it it really shouldn't be, you know it really, I mean, with Chanel gold, you know how I feel if you have seen my one of my Chanel bag videos, you you would have seen me telling you that the Chanel gold wears off in my case anyway, and uh, with this bag is the same. I will show you a close-up and you will see that the Chanel logo, uh, which is in gold here, the color is fading. And that should really not be the case because these items are very expensive. They really should do something about that. I don't like that at all. It looks like this. I've got money and the cards here. And this is the only wallet I have. So I do use it every day. It fits everything I need for every day. So, and um, what else? Ah, yes. Of course, the other luxury items I use every day are, you know, my Cartier uh, bracelet, the love bracelet, not the uh, Justin Crew. I don't wear this one every day. And my ear studs and uh, yes, and my, <laughs> and my necklace, of course. And yes, and I don't know if you would classify an Apple Watch as a luxury good, but I do because this is a smartphone, a smart watch. This is a smart watch and I think for a smart watch it is hell expensive. <laughs> and um, yeah, I use it every day and I love it. I never thought I would like to have a watch, but since having this watch, even if it's a smart watch, I really like it. I really 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 like it if you are into working out exercising i am sure you will love a smartwatch i can really re recommend it it doesn't have to be from apple but any smartwatch maybe would do it if i come across a nice watch band for the apple watch i will definitely um, think about getting it because i am not very keen of this one even though it is very very comfortable and this is very important as well. If you are expecting a bag in my video, you know, a handbag, I really have to disappoint you because I don't have a luxury. I mean, the bag I am using at the moment is this one. This is a Tory Burch bag. I have, I bought that ages ago, never used it. And now, because I don't have a bag for everyday use, I use this one. 
at the moment I don't have a luxury handbag that I'm using every day because I returned my lovely luxurious handbag and uh, now I am left without <laughs> that bag. If you have no idea uh, what I'm <laughs> talking about, I will put the video up here, the link up here, so you can go and check it out. And yes, I mean, I have other bags I could use, but you know, a Chanel bag, you don't really want to take a Chanel bag to a playground and, you know, with, uh, with kids, I, I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable with uh, doing that. Maybe to many of you, it's not a luxurious handbag, but it is, actually the quality is quite good. And um, for now, it does it for me. But as soon as I have more time, I will go and have a look in the Louis Vuitton store and see if they have something in store for me. If you expected <laughs> to see these, uh, slide downs. I have um, to say I don't wear them very often because I'm just scared of uh, destroying them. Maybe I need to get used to uh, to wearing, you know, such as expensive slide downs. Uh, but um, for now, I take it easy with them. Is there any luxury item you use every day? Please let me know, I would love to know. There are a few people that I'm really curious about what luxury goods or items they use on a day-to-day -day basis. I will tag them in the description box below. So make sure to check out my description box below and find out people who have a, a big selection of luxury items and um, let's see what items they use every day. I really hope you consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourself and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye bye.